But the topic of discussion is that I just lost my job. Um, and I lost it to AI, which is very unfortunate. Wow. I think many people joke about the, you know, the fact that, oh... This is a Halo 3 map. Because you go inside, there's a pathway down into here to this other area. And then this has two levels on it. And there's a gravity boost right here and it takes you up to the top. I remember this. AI is going to take all our jobs and we're all going to get replaced. Yeah. And especially within my industry, which is graphic design. Ooh. Um, my job, I, I've been a graphic designer for the past eight years of my life. Um, and I've worked at this specific company for six years. You would think that being one of the, l the longest running employees, uh, being there six years, having a wage increase almost every year and being very much valued because I was the only graphic designer left, you'd think they'd want to keep me on as much as- He just self-reported! He just self-reported! Running employees, uh, being there six years, having a wage increase almost every year and being- I think I know why they got rid of you. I could put two on top of two here, and I think I know what happened. Too expensive, yeah. Because yeah, I mean, it's sad to see, but, um, I mean, it's it's true. It does happen a lot of the time where um, companies will either not uh, give promotions slash raises um, that are in line with their hiring practices and then you can end up with someone who's been at the company for five years and they get rid of them because they keep stacking money they keep getting promotions or the opposite happens and they're at the company making i don't know let me just throw out a number here they're they're making you know 28 bucks an hour they started at 25 and you know through you know, inflation and, you know, blah, blah, blah. They're hiring new people on at $30 an hour. So it's like, it's, it, it can be kind of messed up from both sides. Because I was the only graphic designer left. You'd think they want to keep me on as much as possible. I mean, I, I barely was allowed to take mm -hmm. holiday because I was the only designer. So if right. I was off, then nobody could cover for me. And the company ended up with work stacking up. Um, however, over the past three months, I'd say, I've noticed that my schedule at the company became like less and less cluttered, and it got. You know, I heard that they do this in Japan, where like they don't fire you, they just don't give you any more work, and then eventually you figure it out and you just leave. <laughs> They just cut you out. Yeah, that's just to me. That shit's funny. They took my stapler. Yeah, exactly. Point where. Yeah, I mean, um, it's another thing that uh, companies will do. Um, you know, if, if there's not enough work to go around and they need to get rid of someone who they're, you know, pl paying more than they feel like they should, uh, for whatever reason, um, they they can just reduce how much work you know you're clocking in for um if you're getting paid hourly and slowly you know work you out of the you know basically starve you out economically starve you out of uh the job position or um if they're super super busy um and they want to get rid of somebody sometimes uh, what uh, companies will do or management will do is they will actually overload you and try to make you quit and they'll they'll give you the worst shifts they'll give you the worst you know teammates to work with they'll give you the hardest most challenging problems and they'll just overwork you and see how much they can get out of you until you eventually quit because they don't want to have to fire you they don't want to have to go through that rigmarole so i mean it's kind of you know shit I I was getting paid for a seven hour and 30 minute day and some days Just only doing glitch, two yeah. hours of work, which obviously was great for me. I loved it. Uh -huh. Wait, <laughs> what was this? I was getting paid for a seven hour and 30 minute day 
and some days only doing two hours of work, which obviously... Guys, I mean, to be fair, bro, if I lost this job, my video would have been an hour. I would have been fucking furious, man. Obviously, I'd have been great pissed. I loved it. <laughs> yeah. I up at nine o'clock because it was work from home as well. I do two hours. Man. Man. Ooh. Two hours of work and I'd have nothing left to do for the rest of the oh. day. Maybe some revisions slash amends would come in yeah, at like 3 or 4 o'clock and do those for 20, 30 minutes and that'd be my day. I'd essentially do between 2 and 3 hours of work and get paid for 7 and a half. It was great for like 3 or 4 Damn, months. Brock, I suck dick. How the fuck do you turn around? <laughs> that was fucking garbage. How does he not know where he went? Two and three hours of work and get paid for seven and a half. It was yeah. great for like Two or three, three or four months. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, on Monday this week, I got told that I'm being made redundant. And I was thinking, how could this How do you, like, here's the thing, right? I feel like you could have predicted this was going to happen. Like, I remember whenever I used to work at the IRS, is like whenever we would end work and we would spend three hours doing nothing, you knew that we were about to all get let go. Like, it's about to be over. Like, they're going to stop giving us money. Yeah, writing's on the wall. Yeah, exactly. Possible. Yeah, but I mean, my, my personal opinion is whether you have the intellectual capability and capacity to perceive what's actually happening or, you know, it's a shock to you, um, kind of regardless either way, it's something that, in my opinion, is wrong to do to another human being. Um, I think that um, one of the responsibilities at, of a management position um, is to have to, you know, hire, fire, uh, let your employees uh, know where they stand, um, you know, where the company is and how things are going, where they're, you know, you know, we're running out of, you know, work for you guys to do, you know. I think that that's the responsibility of, of the company to do at large. And I think that um, handling it in this way, uh, whereas like, you know, like Asman said, I mean, the writing is on the wall. I'm not saying that it's not, but um, it's a very chicken shit way to go about things, in my opinion. Well, you clearly need a graphic designer. Uh, the company I work at is a marketing agency who does email and web designs for clients. Um, well, you have to think about it from the CEO's perspective. So we could have a graphic designer. Well, why don't we just have Cheryl, who works at the at the office, at the desk? Why don't we just have Cheryl just make something up in Photoshop, do something in ChatGPT? Yeah, just have her do it. That's easy. You know, we'll give her like we'll give her a pizza party. Uh, you know, like give her like why don't we just uh you know order something nice for her on Friday, and uh, we'll just give her two jobs. And there it is. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I was a bit confused on that one. And then I did a bit of digging, I'm asked not. a few people. I'm not. It turns out basically all of the material that I've provided over oh. the past six years is now being fed to AI and templated. Um, so, so basically, he worked hard so they could fire him. Yep. Is that legal? Of course it's legal. It's absolutely legal. Yeah, they're paying them for the work. It's their property. So, a design that would take me 30 minutes now takes AI 30 seconds. Uh, as it's been trained. And I want you guys to keep in mind that this isn't going to be the only place where we see this type of... Um, unraveling i think that there's already some companies who are who are doing that probably within the next five to ten years um if not sooner so many other jobs are going to be taken i mean you you saw it happen when the checkout stuff got we got a little bit more advanced with that and then we have you know self-checkout now there's only a couple of people to monitor things when back in the day there was people at you know every aisle almost and you know there was always you know in and out of that grocery store super fast now you go into a grocery store there's so many lines that aren't used i mean i'd say 
at my local grocery store, I'd say at least 60 to 80% of the lines where you'd have an actual person there um, just simply aren't being used. They have like one or two people, maybe three people there, and then all the other lanes are uh, shut down, and then you have like one or two people monitoring the, um, the self-checkout. And this cuts down on how much they're p paying for employees, which then increases the grocery stores and stuff. They, they didn't like give people a break and was like, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna drop our prices back down to help you guys out. No, you, you just now are paying whatever for whatever, you know, and it's more than it used to be. So, yeah. Trained on all my templates, essentially I think it just literally reuses my templates mm -hmm. and then they can input the hex codes they want the email or the website design to be, drag and drop Ooh. in the client's logo, upload the client's yep. font, and boom, it will generate done. Uh, my template by using their brand assets. And I thought, you know, it makes sense from a business point of view, but it's extremely it sure does. scummy. Um, it, it puts me out of a job. My immediate thought was, well, let's go to some competitor companies and see if they're, they're looking for designers. I've looked They'll be looking for a designer for six months. Be a six month contract. I looked at between 10 and 15 yeah. competitors, and every single other competitor is doing the exact same thing. Some of well, them you think about it from the business's perspective. Why would you pay some fucking guy that you're just paying more and more money every year that only does a few hours of work every single day, a full salary, to do what you could program a computer to do? What person wouldn't make this decision? And he's sitting at home, yeah. Everybody would make this decision. Why would you not? Exactly, yeah. That's the that's thing even boasting about it on their website yes. and going as far as simply inputting your website URL it will extract all the assets nice. really and good. learn about that website and then artificially generate mm -hmm. email and web templates for your brand. That is insane. Like Email and web designers are going to be completely out of jobs this year. Like, <laughs> Yep, that's right. So, like a hundred years ago, one of the biggest industries in the world was whaling. Now it's not. And like, you know, making horseshoes. That's just the way it is, bro. Like, it shit changes. Lots of industries change. Yep, that's it. What the hell is an email designer? Well, you have to figure out, like, what emojis to use. And do you use thank you or sincerely? Well, you have to pay $60,000 a year to find out. <laughs> it just... Well, um... Asmin is correct in one way that, yes, um, as technology advances, you know, things that are less efficient are going to no longer be in use. Um, totally makes sense. I, I completely understand that. Um, where I have an issue... Um, is it's not brought up how much AI is going to affect, you know, and I know the, you know, overly optimistic, not really well thought out, uh, small, smooth brain take of, well, you know, it's going to open up job opportunities in other departments. It's like, mm, not at a one-to-one, -one, you know. Not anywhere at a one-to-one. -one. Whereas, like, when we stopped, you, you know, doing whaling, we were using another form of, uh, you know, shit to perform those tasks. Now, you can still, you know, find countries that'll still, you know, do it on the side or on the down low or just blatantly, of course. But, um, you know, there, there's more like, there's more reasons behind that. But yeah, I mean, AI is going to be affecting so much more. I mean, all these people who do Uber driving, uh, that's going to be affected. Um, I could see delivery drivers for pizza joints um, being affected. I could see fast food being affected. I could see receptionists being affected. I could see teaching jobs, like if you're a... Um, like if you're a substitute teacher, if that's like your, you know, gig you do on the side, or maybe that's your whole gig. I don't know. Hello there. I'm here with my son, and I'd love you to tutor him on this math problem. 
but don't give him the answer. You can ask questions and nudge him in the right direction, but I really want to make sure he understands it himself. And he's here in the room, so you can talk to him directly. Of course, I'd be happy to help. Let's look at the problem together. Can you first identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse relative to angle alpha? All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the angle alpha right here, right? Fact. Correct. correct. Now, looking at the triangle, which side do you think is the hypotenuse? Um... Remember yeah, I mean, the hypotenuse? I'm not totally sure. I think... I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC? You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is directly opposite the right angle. Can you find which one is the hypotenuse? Oh, okay, I see. So, um, I think the hypotenuse is this really long side from A to B. Would that be correct? Exactly, well done. Now that you've identified the hypotenuse, can you identify which side is the opposite side to angle alpha? Okay, well, I mean, you told me earlier that this was the adjacent side, and I know that's the hypotenuse, so I'm guessing that this side, BC, is the opposite side. Great deduction. That's absolutely correct. Now that you've identified all the sides relative to angle alpha, do you remember the formula for finding the sine? I could see that being taken. If you look at what OpenAI has been working on recently with their chat gpt 40 or 40 i don't know um for something um there's so many of these jobs that are going to be taken i'm starting to think that we may need to have a like we may ha actually have to have a new form of economic system uh to basically handle uh the world of tomorrow certain the, the certain economic system that we currently have today, I don't think is going to be able to support the amount of people that it's going to negatively affect. And I think that, I think that within probably the next, I think it's going to be very bad. And I think that 10 to 15 years, you're going to start to see, in my opinion, uh, this could be completely wrong, but I think you're going to see people rising up against this stuff being such an issue and and saying like look um i i can't afford to pay for my kids i don't have a job you know blah 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 and you're gonna have a lot more negative outcomes and you know people are trying to line their pockets and i don't know if the top knows about this and maybe they're just trying to <clears throat> line their pockets as much as they possibly can before you know uh the shit hits the fan so to speak, entirely, but um, things are changing at a rapid pace technologically. Removes the need for us completely, and I think the graphic design industry is where most people cracked jokes about AI taking over. You know, oh, AI generation can't do it, it messes up the hands, or it, it gets things. Dude, anybody who was saying that, like, I feel like you could not have above a room temperature IQ and say that. You had to have been dumb. You had to be like, I mean, I'm not talking about like dumb. I'm talking about like dumb, dumb. Wrong, and it clearly looks like a... Yeah, I mean, you know, Asmin brings up a really good point here. I mean, you have to keep in mind that, I mean, technology isn't going to slow down. It's not going to stop unless there's some weird unforeseeable thing it's improving and it's improving rapidly i mean if you look at what ai was uh just five years ago to where it is today and five years is not that much time okay it is exceptionally better i mean massively better i mean before you know, you couldn't get an AI to follow a script. Point is, artificial intelligence has massively increased. Um, you know, from going from, like, the little Siri and, you know, bullshit on your phones and stuff, 
to the levels that um, they're at now, artificial intelligence is massively rapidly improving. Massively. Wrong, and it clearly looks like AI. But those days are past us. Like, of course, AI progresses incredibly fast, and I've Who used some think of it myself to see if it actually works. And <laughs> I've asked some people, like, you know, hey, uh, here's this drawing I did um, as a content, as a concept for like a, a video. And then he's trying to he's trying to ask them if they could tell if it was AI or not. So does this, by the way, does uh, Halo Infinite, do they do the same thing like Valorant does whenever you kill somebody and you loot their weapon and then it has like their skin for like what a assault rifle is? Because I saw that guy shot the dude with the sniper and then he picked up a black and red sniper. Oh, that's cool. Character or a weapon or an environment. Yeah. And they can't tell that it's AI anymore. There it is. It's I fucking knew it. So I fucking knew it. Because it's always these fucking pretend smart people that are like, I could tell this is AI. Yeah, because it says it's AI, idiot. But, like, whenever they're actually able to see it, like, this is the best thing. Oh, I hate CGI in movies. And then, like, their favorite movies have CGI. But they don't know that. Because it's good CGI. So far, that I genuinely think within the next 6 to 12 months, many, 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 like, thousands, even tens of thousands of graphic designers will lose their jobs. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's a serious problem because it's the the main skill I have. You know, I've been a graphic designer professionally since I was 19. That's um, right. I'm now 27, about nope. to turn 28. So almost 10 and years. And you think my... about it, right? Like, because let, let's step back for a second. Like, obviously, like, it's it's like we can talk about this. But, like, I, I'm, I'm, like, on, like, a, you know, like, a worldwide level. But, like, on a personal level, bro, this sucks. This really sucks. Like, I feel really bad for this guy. Like at 27, your career is just like deleted. That's horrible. Yeah, like I, I can absolutely empathize with the way he feels. That's terrible. Life. I went to college for this. You're yep. going to tell me that I literally went to college for something that's now going to be redundant in the industry? Oh, bro. I mean, this guy doesn't even have an American accent. Imagine if you went to college and it took you $70,000 and you've got a, you know, fucking, uh, what's it called? Uh, indentured servitude for the rest of your life. What am I supposed to do? Like, <laughs> my fallback plan is How literally a retail job, which I obviously don't want to do. Yep. I have minor experience in game design. Oh, they'll replace that too. Yeah, they'll replace that too. Uh, retail will be replaced primarily by robots. And you've already seen it happen. And you're seeing a lot of forms of, like, soft replacement. And, like, AI... The only thing that's holding back robotics right now is battery storage and consumption slash weight and overall price of the product. The second that things get worked on, which with artificial intelligence being able to scan everything on the internet, having extremely high IQs on things, um, it's only it's it's only you know bound to happen. I mean, and even if you know, supermarkets have to have, you know, power cords plugged into the back of these, you know, Boss Dynamics or Tesla or whomever ends up making these ro robots um, and have a little string that goes up to the ceiling and it, ma it makes it so that they can walk up and down the aisles and stuff um, and just still use power. Wh whichever way that they figure out how to do this, it's going to affect a massive 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 amount and you might say well i mean if you're a chef or if you're you know a cook of some sort you know that can still be okay it's like not really i mean there's already robotic arms that you know fold out of the ceiling and can perform things i've i saw i, th I believe it was mcdonald's that's working on that right now it's like it's going to affect a massive amount of people. And once again, I, you, I know that there's going to be those staunch, you know, old school supporters. And that's fine. But that's the minority of people. Okay. There are some people who still listen to vinyl records. Okay. In the year 2024. That still does happen. But does it happen as much as people digitally downloading media like songs? No, not even fucking close. Nowhere close. So it's we're we're going into 
a new phase of existence for our species and I'm pretty sure if uh, the people at the top are this greedy and they've been this greedy I think we're going to deal with some real growing pains on this some real serious growing pains experience in game design oh they'll replace that too yeah they'll replace that too uh, retail will be replaced primarily by robots and you've already seen it happen and you're seeing a lot of forms of like soft replacement and like AI is just a form it's like a branch or like a head of the technology hydra so with AI that's only one head but there's also the head of automation and technology just in general improvements in technology like how many like back in the day how many of y'all grew up in the 90s and you would go to like Albertsons or you'd go to like, I don't know, fucking uh, Publix or some of these other like grocery stores around the, the country and there'd be like 18 lines open. The year is 1999, right? Now, the only time that there's 18 lines open is probably like, I don't know, like Christmas, you know, that's about it, like Black Friday. Now there, yeah, now there's two open. But nothing that will land me a middleweight job. I'd have to get yeah. a, an entry-level job and That's take right. a massive pay cut. Yes. Of probably four to six thousand pounds a year. It's an incredibly difficult position to be in. I have a house. Yes. I have a mortgage to pay. I have bills. Yes. I thought I was financially stable. Nope. So I have a couple of things on fire. You can never rely on a company to care about you. Every company will use and abuse you and throw you away at the first inconvenience that is not beneficial to them. Companies don't care about you. You shouldn't have any loyalty to them. You should only, you should have loyalty to some of the people that you've worked with for a long period of time. And maybe even to the person who manages you. But the company as a whole? Absolutely not. It's because obviously I, ha I thought I had money coming in every month. Yeah. And the redundancy pay I'll get will cover me for maybe three to four months, and then I'll be out of money. So I have three to four months to figure out my situation, which... Luckily is a decent amount of time, but other people won't be so fortunate. The only reason I get a good redundancy package is that yeah, because I was there for six years, right? Some people who have only been at a company for one or two years will not get a good redundancy package. It will be one month's wages and they send you on your way. Of course, and, and I think this is just going to be more and more common. And it's like once it happens to enough people, like the problem right now is that it's happening slow enough for average people to not care about it. And I also think that there's a lot of average people that are like, oh yeah, you're making pictures on a computer. That's not a real job, too bad. You know, now it's time to go be a construction worker and be a real man. So like you have a lot of um, like, what is this? Like inner class warfare, I guess you could say, where it's like people are fighting each other and like celebrating whenever something bad happens to people that they think that they have bullshit jobs. And so like nobody's really thinking about like the bigger picture of like the guy. It's like basically, um, you know, there's 10 pieces, a rich guy takes nine pieces. He takes the last piece, he cuts it in half. He gives half to a plumber or a half to, you know, a construction worker, half to a graphic designer. And then he says, hey, that construction worker took half your piece. That's basically what happens. It's crazy how, 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 how easy it is to control people. It's unbelievable. That's how it works. Yeah, I mean, Asmin is 100 trillion percent correct on this. I mean, the, the reality is, is that so many of the people at the top are, they're feeding off of the weak. Like it, and the less for, fortunate, the less intellectually endowed. It's, it's fucking sad. It's really fucking sad, and it's gonna cause violence. And I, I, I guarantee you, um, this is going to get worse. It's like if you think that you know people, you know, rioted at, you know, Black Lives Matter or January sixth or you know, what have you, these types of things, if you think that's bad, you have no fucking clue what will happen when that large amount of people are fucked. Because, listen to what uh, this guy's fallback is. His fallback is to work in retail. Well, that's, that's going too. So, imagine when, you know, 
you're knocked down a peg, then you're knocked down again, 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 and it's like now you can't make any money. And then someone's, and then some retard at the top goes, "Well, just another guy and fucking do the top stuff." It's like no, I don't have the money to do that. I don't, I can't get to that point. Well, looks like you didn't plan your life right. It's like no, you dumb bastard. I didn't foresee the future. I didn't have a crystal ball. But it's just like. You're never, you're never gonna get these people at the top to to give a shit because they they won't until it affects them negatively. They will continue to feed upon everyone and everything. If there's one thing true universally across all races, genders, sex, creed, places on Earth, everywhere, is that humans, when given a disproportionate amount of power, they will abuse that power more often than not. Doesn't mean 100% of the time, but more often than not, when humans have a disproportionate amount of power, they fuck the bottom line. They fuck them over. They turn their pyramids upside down and the whole thing topples. And they, they you know, they do so after so many years where they've sucked up so much that, yeah, if the whole company topples, I've got enough put away where I can either retire or move on to another company. Uh, it's just, fuck, this is really, really, really bad to see. It's in the UK. I don't know how it yeah. works in other countries. It could be worse. It's crazy to hear him talk about this, like all the writing is on the wall and he feels like it happened out of nowhere. Yeah, he definitely should have known this was going to happen. You're right. Yeah, and I also want to talk about this, too, because, like, there's going to maybe be some comments about this, you know, later on. But I uh, I totally empathize with his position. I think it's horrible what happened to him. But he was naive to not expect this. He should have absolutely expected this. The writing was on the wall. You can't expect to have a pay raise every single year. You work from home for a couple of days an hour or a couple hours a day and they're just going to pay you for this why would they pay you for eight hours of work if you're not working eight hours i mean come on like if somebody did three to three hours of work for you and they wanted eight hours of pay would you want to give them the money no that's it so but it sucks it really sucks that this is happening to people. Yeah, see, the, the problem is, is that whether you are or you're not able to perceive what is going on, it does not matter. The amount of people that are going to be affected is massive first. That's a big one. Don't forget it. Second, most of the people who are going to be affected are the bottom level jobs. Most of the people who work the bottom level jobs don't know what the fuck to do. That's why they're working bottom level jobs. So trying to expect that person to have an IQ of the guy who runs the shit is literally intellectually inept in and of itself. Okay. It's not okay to do. Plus a lot of these people, what happens if you can see the writing on the wall, but you don't have enough to save up money. You don't have enough to, to do anything else. And things and job opportunities are dropping like flies as technology increases. What are you supposed to do? You know, I mean, there's so and, and once again, the people who are who are being asked this, these like really, really tough questions aren't people who are economically set and secure in their jobs. The people who are asked these questions are people who are working at the gas station. They're people who are working at the, the drive through. They're people who are working at the grocery store. Okay. These are the people who are going to primarily being asked this question. Obviously graphic designers is going to happen prior to those based upon the um, need for more robotics and robotics being so expensive at the time. Yes. It's going to take you know a couple more years before we optimize uh, th that, you know, entirely. But I mean, if you just look at Atlas, which is Boston Dynamics robot, which they recently 
uh, retired to bring out their new, um, yeah, their new version. I mean, the the size of the the back. If you look at its back, it has a giant rectangular battery on the back that has to have like fans all you know put around it to try and keep the thing cool so it doesn't overheat and cause problems. Like the the new one, much smaller, much more compact. There are people who are bigger than that, you know. So, um, it things are changing. And they're, they're changing fast. But being aware of it or not being aware of it is neither here nor there. And anyone who thinks that it is, is fucking dumb as shit. Okay? Like, sure, if you know that it's happening and you have saved up money and you can afford to, like, put a bunch of money aside and you have another skill and you're working on the side this uh, you know, with this other company, and you're getting in with all these other people. Like, sure, but most of the people who are going to be affected by this are not that those types of people. They're the types of people who, you know, their life fell apart, and you know, they're working, pay, you know, going paycheck to paycheck, eating, you know, instant noodles, and you know, working at McDonald's. Okay living with two other roommates inside of a one bedroom apartment. These are the types of people who are being affected, not Mason, or I'm just, just a random name I pulled out of my ass, but not Mason, the guy over here who, you know, has 27 grand, uh, you know, in his savings account, he's got six, uh, six grand in his checking or vice versa. And he's, you know, uh, got, you know, 30k in stocks across the board and his you know family is well endowed economically and you know can help him you know if, if he slips or falls like most people aren't in that type of a situation okay who are going to be affected by this immediately i just i i think it's incredibly massively astronomically disingenuous and dishonest intellectually dishonest to be like oh well i mean psh, you should have seen the writing on the wall bro like what's wrong with you it's like holy shit you understand that there are people who work at these you know like at like a gas station who are getting drunk and stoned at work every single fucking day and have their boss come up to them and go hey uh chief um We've gotten another complaint about you. Um, if you don't straighten up, you know, you're going to lose your job. It's like, you know, and he still fucks up. It's like, there's people like that that exist. And guess what? When he loses his job and he no longer has any way to support himself, he is not going to go, you know what? I'm just going to turn on my intellect now. He's going to go, oh, I don't know what to do. Guess I'm stealing shit. Guess I'm robbing people. Guess I'm assaulting people. And then guess what? Now we have more fucking problems. They go, oh, okay, well then they'll just get arrested. It's like, now we have more, a uh, larger prison population. Like what's ha what happened to El Salvador. I mean, not not the same thing, but they, they increased in prison population massively recently. But anyways, the point is, is that you know, you're going to have all these fucking problems, and then what are, what are we going to do about it? Well, can't do shit. Guess we'll just suck it up and die. Like, it's like, dude, this is going to cause so many problems that so many people just are unwilling to accept. Because either they're not in that position, so fuck you, but it's like, dude, you don't have to be in that position. You can be in you can be in a bad position really fast because of these people. First, they don't have a job. Now they feel dis disadvantaged. Now they go out to cause crime. They start off by stealing. The cameras in the stores with AI and stuff and facial recognition are getting better. It's harder to do that. Now what does he do? Well, he just got out of jail. Um, he, you know, blah, blah, blah. He has to fucking make some money. Well, he sees you walking down the street. And you look like... You might have some money so then he beats the shit out of you you try to defend yourself you potentially lose your life or get beaten within an inch of your life and the dude takes your shit 
All because you're like, yeah, fuck it, I don't care. Why didn't you see the ratings on the wall? Like, you stupid fucking bastard. Like, it just, goddamn, like, I don't know. It's, it, I don't know if it's, if it's ignorance or narcissism or all of the above, but things are going to get really, really, really fucking bad if we don't seriously take this serious. I, I, anyways, let's go. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not stressing too much right now because obviously you should be. I'm, I'm good for a few months. I can look for absolutely jobs. Absolutely should be. And I do know that obviously if I absolutely have to, I can land myself some kind of retail or warehouse or sales like entry level job and I'll have enough money to survive. However, th this like growth of AI in the industry is going to completely destroy like my hopes and dreams of becoming a, you know a, a senior or like creative lead at a company having my own yeah that's right juniors underneath me apprentices stuff like that like that is my realistic goal uh, obviously my own realistic goal is to run my own company or do youtube or something like that but sure. my realistic goal with the skill i have would be a senior slash lead design position and it seems like that's well, less Well, why would you need a lead design position if you could just have somebody do it with a machine? Like, think about how many blacksmiths we used to have. We still have blacksmiths, but there's not as many as there were whenever King Arthur was around. It's just the way it is. It's likely to happen now because of the... Yeah, but the thing that Asmund's not taking into consideration here is that, yes, blacksmiths are no longer there, but the, but the engineers who work on the you know, automated machinery are, okay? When AI comes in to do the graphic design thing, you're not going to have, you know, anywhere close to the amount of people who lose their jobs. as like blacksmithing, okay? Not nowhere close. Because you're going to just have, you know, a couple people working in the, the tech of a... AI company, they're going to be the ones running the AI, fixing little bugs, software glitches, and then that's going to last until they can get AI to fill certain positions over there. And it, for a little bit, it'll be like, yeah, well, now our job is easier editing the AIs because we use this AI to help us edit that AI to keep that AI working. And then before you know it, it's like, now it takes up more. Now it takes up more. Now we need even less of you guys. Now we, now we don't need any of you guys. Now it's a company with a dude at the top who runs robots or AI that, run, that help run other AI that then run positions for people. I mean, we're talking about problems that literally to solve involve a new economic system being put into place to stop rioters and dis you know distribution of of uh, redistribution of wealth through uh, violent dangerous means across at l the planet at, for to be completely honest with you i mean you may not have this in like i don't know fucking random tribe somewhere but for first world countries yeah bro uh, we're going to see some serious serious negative re uh, ramifications from this it, and it's not gonna be like losing the blacksmiths oh no don't have many of those guys now it, it's not what's gonna happen you stupid fucking bastard what's going to happen is you're going to see that in where you needed 10 you now need one okay it's not like well used to be a bunch of blacksmiths now you know, instead of needing all those blacksmiths, we only need like seven people, you know, to, to run the, the shop and make sure that everything's, you know, operating properly. It's like, so we, we lost probably about 30% um, through that, you know, and it's like, yeah, this is fine. I mean, if to be to be completely honest with you, um, most people, if they had their way, they would want to work as like a hobby their their job is like a hobby for them like asmongold has this to give you an example he works where he 
you know, makes YouTube videos, he does Twitch. This is what Asmin does. That is the goal of every single person. Maybe not that exact field of work, but, you know, maybe it's, you know, I like cooking, but, you know, and being a chef, but, you know, I don't want to, you know, have like, all right, we had a fucking 12 top come in. We need you guys to go hurry up now. Um, we got another, we got an eight top coming in in 30 minutes from now. So we need you to make these burgers. Hurry up. You guys got to go now fast. Like, it's like most people don't like that. But they do like, you know, hey, I'm going to cook some stuff, make some stuff look good, taste good, put, you know, heart and passion into my work, you know. And, and that's, I, I think, the beauty and fun of being a human. But uh, once again, it's, it's not a one-to-one. -one. Uh, our government, the government superpowers of the world, if I was in charge to any level of degree at that level... I'd be getting everyone sitting around the round table going, all right, you guys ready? Um, we got robotics coming. We already have AI here. It's already starting to encroach upon uh, people's jobs. Um, we need to get a, we need to start working on this uh, to figure out how we can set up an economic system to where people can get paid and not die. And if you, if you do a job that like, maybe you go to school and you do something hard or, you know, it takes like real skill or something, you can get paid more and you should because you're putting in that extra effort. So there's still like a capitalistic direction for people to strive for more. But if you don't, you well, know, you're probably going to live in an apartment. You're not going to own anything, but you're going to be able to live. You're going to be able to have your internet, have your TV, you know, have you have a pet or two, you know, have a couple of beers, you know, you know, have a case of beer a week or something, you know, you'll be able to economically support that and, you know, be OK. But if you want to have like the nice car and you want to go on, you know, trips to Europe and, you know, where, you know, wherever it's like, yeah, <laughs> you're going to need to do something more. And I think that like the people at the top need to sit down and go, how the fuck do we set this up? And is it possible? Is it even realistically possible to set up an economic system without disrupting everything and pissing a bunch of people off in the other direction to where we can put this into play and put this into play fast enough so that we don't have major, major rioting and fallout. How do we do it? Everyone needs to put their nose to the grindstone on this one. We gotta figure it out. Rise of AI. Um, and more and more jobs will become redundant. And there will be a lot of jobs that people won't expect that become redundant that will happen overnight. And it will be a surprise to everyone. So yeah, as I said, I understand it from the company's perspective. I spoke to my boss about it. I very much understand his point of view. Yeah, of course. Um, and letting people go isn't easy, but look, if you can let go of a couple designers and you save yourself tens of thousands a year, I do understand it from a business point of view. Of course, and I think that anybody who thinks that the company should keep that, keep those people, every single one of the people that are saying that and think that don't really believe it. Because if it came down to their 401k, or it came down to their investment profile, they would want to see that investment profile and that 401k grow in the biggest way possible. So it's very easy to say, oh, the company should have just kept them on anyway. Yeah, you can say that because you don't have any sort of, there's no consequence to you to say that. And this is kind of what I'm saying is that there's a lot of people that are extremely generous with other people's money. Just suck. So yeah, but I mean, there's uh, there's a difference between, um, hey, you know, just fuck everyone. Um, I don't want any more profits. I don't want to make uh, an increased profit overall with my company by 1%, 2%, 3%, 5% this year. I don't want that. You know, you know, I just, you know, let's keep them all on. It's There's a big difference between that and like, hey, um... We're just going to start destroying people's lives and hope nothing bad comes of it. It's like, you don't understand 
you're dealing with the most violent, dangerous, intellectually capable species of animal on Earth, human beings. When you start to fuck those things over, they're going to fight back. Okay? You have to know that. Like, it's not, yeah, well, just don't care about it. Yeah, well, just find something else. It's like, many people are either going to not want to find something else, or be too fucking dumb to find something else. And going ahead and assaulting and robbing and doing all this fucked up shit is going to be way easier for them to do. It's not as easy as, oh, just, yeah. Whatever. I'm not dropping my bottom line. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give away money, even though I make like you know a hundred thousand, two thousand X what the guy I'm firing is making. Nah. Like it's not like that. Like if I was one of these companies, if I was the CEO of this dude's company, I mean I still wouldn't fire him. Because, you know, we have to. All right, it's not like I would keep everyone on, but I would hugely be talking to like the powers that be and being like, hey, listen, Chiefy, this is what's happening in my industry. I'm not going to get economically fucked because you're not doing anything about this. I'm letting you know right now from the fucking from the mouth of the origination of all of these issues. This is going to fucking snowball. You guys need to do something about this because this is what's happening in my industry. Okay? And I don't want to be a bad guy here, but there's going to be some economic changes here, okay? That are really, really going to upset a lot of people. You guys need to start working on this. I think that everyone needs to start taking responsibility in this. I mean, I for one... Um, I'm going to, like, I'm making this video right now, <laughs> you know? I want people, as many people, even if I only reach one single person, this video only gets one view, and only one person hears it, which is highly unlikely, but let's just say, I would, I, that's enough for me. I just want to, you know, from the top of my little, you know, prairie dog mound, I want to squeak out to the world and go Rear! fucking shit's going wrong <laughs> focus people because I don't want to live in a world where um, I gotta be super careful about where I go where I eat, where I buy groceries from, what type of people I'm around because of how angry, frustrated and disadvantaged the mass majority of people are because the mass majority of people work the bottom level jobs. The mass majority of people make less than 80 grand a year. Mass majority, okay? And they work really easy, really rep really replaceable, bottom level jobs that AI and robotics, especially when put together, are going to eventually replace. We need to start thinking about this Years in advance, we're starting to see it come on. We should have been talking about this, you know, when we had the self-checkout shit going on. But no one knew that artificial intelligence, or at least I didn't, would get to this level, to, to get to this extent. We really, 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 as a united people, need to start taking this very seriously. More serious than we take a lot of our like political issues or our this sex versus that sex or this race versus that race way more than that because this is going to affect everybody they're not going to give a shit whether you're a guy whether you're a girl whether you're this race whether you're this gender they're not going to care people want to make more money than they made the previous year that's how they get raises that's how you know you have more money, more money equals you can do more shit, you get an easier life, get better stuff. Everyone wants that. There's no person who you can talk to, or, well, there's very, very, very few Gandhi-like individuals 
who are like, I don't need anything. Give me a bowl of soup and, I don't know, a pillow to sit on and I'll sleep under the stars. Like, there's very few fucking people who are going to be like that, okay? The mass majority of people are going to be pissed the fuck off. And you fucking know it. Looks that this technology exists. Um, so, yeah. That's my current situation. It, uh, it's not great. The past 40 to 50 days have been terrible for me. Yeah, I bet. Uh, I've lost my job. Um, I had a, a secondary, like, side business with my friend, uh, selling little plush toys. He's pulled out of that, so that business might not happen anymore either. Um, and then my video game, which was like a third-person Halo game called Cross Planet, is also no longer in production because of disagreements and conflicts within the team. A couple staff members didn't agree with things, couldn't align and have a clear vision, so the project is ending after three and a half years. So my whole- Just replace the staff with AI and then make the game yourself. Problem solved. I mean, you already explained what the issue was. Yeah, I feel like you, uh, you know, instead of complaining about the problem, why don't you just become part of the problem instead? Okay, this, this is, um... Not to be rude to Asmund, but this is a very, 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 very dumb fucking thing to say. Okay? AI is not just, oh, turn it on, have it do everything. There you go, we're done, walking out now. Like, that's not how it fucking works. Programmers make AI to perform certain tasks. AI is not just, like, a slave that you can that we can order around to do shit. No, we have to literally make it so that it can perform certain tasks, okay? The AI that's doing, you know, um, the graphic design stuff is gonna be a totally different AI than the, you know, totally different, you know, setup and have a totally different set of parameters than the one who's gonna help with, you know, uh, coding a video game, which is gonna have a totally different setup than the one who's going to be a on-call app for people who are dealing with suicide and just need someone to talk to, which is going to be similar but different from the AI chatbot girls who talk to people who are subscribed to OnlyFans. They're similar but not the same. It is a very, 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 very narrow-minded, dumb, not understanding of how the whole thing actually works. For Asman to say this. I'm sorry, but I, I can't let him get off the hook with that. It, it's just, that's not how it works. That's just simply not realistic at all. Like, could it happen? Sure. It, if this guy had like, you know, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars saved up, just kind of put away and, you know, ready to use. Yeah, sure. He could go ahead, take that money, hire some engineers, work with, you know, with an artificial intelligence company, get some things, you know, put together, and then start putting together a company in that way, like Asmin is saying. Even then, it's like, this is this would be getting in on the ground floor of one of these things. It's going to co probably cost a lot of money. There's probably going to be a lot of hiccups, and you're probably not going to see uh, economic return for from it for a very long period of time, which is going to economically hurt. It's going to hit pretty hard. And unless you have, you know, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars just sitting there chilling, like Asmin does, this is not realistic. You have to understand that the guy who we're talking about here is happy that he has four months of fucking pay because he worked at a place for six years. Okay? Four months. He's like, all right, I... I have four months to figure something out. That's where he's at right now. Okay? He's not at the point where he's like, well, I could retire right now, never work another day in my life. I've got millions of dollars. It, he's not at the same point of Asmongold. And, and this is kind of the problem that I have with, with people who are, you know, economically well off is it's very hard for them to not become so extremely economically disconnected from the mass majority of people. And it's not like, it's not like if someone sat down and said exactly what I'm saying to Asmin, you know, face to face, that 
Asmin wouldn't go, well, yeah, that's a good point. You know, but you can work in that direction. Like, he might say something like that, which is fine. Yeah, you can. But um, to just say, oh, just hire AI or just, you know, just do the AI shit. Become part of the problem. It's like, you can't do that unless you're in a position to do that. And saying that it's just it's it's intellectually dishonest in my opinion. Hey, hey, how about that? If you can't beat him, join him. Schedule as I know it has been torn from me. I have twenty-four hours in a day, mm -hmm. and absolutely zero of them are allocated to something. I'm just completely free. Like <laughs> You know, some may see it as a good opportunity to change my life around and dive into something new, but that's dangerous and quite scary. My boss told me that he, if he thinks oh, I'm that, sure uh, it's terrifying. God, that'd be awful. Yeah. Um, I would be happiest if I freelanced or if I ran my own business. Obviously, those things are true, but like I said, I have a mortgage to pay and bills and stuff like that, and freelance is not sustainable for some people you might have two months where you're extreme. yeah my mom had this she was a freelance editor and she would work sometimes and then other times she wouldn't have a job for like six months extremely successful yeah and then you could have five where for some reason you just struggle to sell in that situation i would quite yeah, feast or lose famine. my house exactly. so yeah. it, it's you know. yeah i mean li listen to what this guy's saying he, he's not in a economic position to blow money on you know uh gra on uh, on uh, ai engineers to help him with his graphics department and making a company and doing all this or working freelance work you know it's it comes and it goes like he's not in that position and guess what most people who are going to be affected by artificial intelligence in their line of work don't have that extra money to do all of those things this is common fucking sense. Common sense. Like, I... It's upsetting. It makes me a little bit frustrated, to be completely honest with you. Because it's like, I, I don't... You don't need... Like, talk about having a, you know, below room temp IQ. How the fuck can't you perceive that? How can't you put those literally, like, three puzzle pieces together to make a picture? Like, I just... I don't understand how this is hard to get. Holy crap, man. Yeah, it's an extremely scary thing to dive into. I don't think any of my family would recommend trying to use my redundancy pay to keep me alive and start my own business. Um, it's just, uh, it's not the ideal situation. It's the last thing that I'd try and do. So, yeah, that's it. There's the live comp for today. That's the situation I'm in does leave me yeah i mean that really sucks man it really does and what's your advice for people who are like this i could give advice but like i don't really understand like what the job market's like because the last time i tried to get a job was like 10 years ago and so i don't really know what i'm talking about but like if i was him i would try to position myself to have a like some sort of like senior role because he does have six years of experience at a company and he wasn't fired for incompetency, they just made his job irrelevant. So I think that he would probably have to change the way that he provided value to a company to, instead of providing value through his skills, he would have to provide value through his management with other people that have those skills. That's probably what he would have to do. Which is way easier said than done. Way easier. Because if he understands it well, he can help manage people for that. And that's like, that's if he wants to stay in this job. But I don't like, I mean, again, I, I'm, I, you know, what do I know? A lot of people aren't given that opportunity though. Well then take it. Nobody is gonna give you an opportunity. Give you an opportunity. No, that, that doesn't happen. You, you, you have to take things. You have to push for it and try to get it. Yeah, nobody's going to just, like, give him a job. With a lot of time to do YouTube. <laughs> and also, like, this is a thing that I did at, at the IRS, is that I did three jobs. Like, I did security, I did, like, a, 
uh, basically I did like a paperwork processing and then like uh, it called it batching, which is like, a, you know, like large amounts of paperwork processing to like different places. And I would like check to make sure there were like no problems in them. And so like because I had three jobs effectively that I was doing regularly, the company was less likely to get rid of me, right? Or the company, the IRS was less likely to get rid of me. So like any fuck up that I made didn't matter as much because I was creating more value. So I think that really, if you're at a job and you feel like you're getting kind of like a very easy job and things are super easy for you, you should expect that that won't last because it's really not fair to the company that they're paying you all day for something that you're not doing all day. It's really simple. I agree with that to a certain extent, but at the same time, you have to take into consideration that most of these companies could be paying, you know, three to five X what they're actually paying their employees and not like go under. Okay. Real talk. There's a lot of pocketed money. And I'm not saying everyone needs to make the same exact amount of money. Obviously the person who takes the risk and, you know, has the schooling and sets up the company and takes out the loans and all this other kind of shit and, you know, puts his, you know, economic neck on the chopping block, so to speak, I, I definitely think that they should be, you know, uh, compensated for that, um, you know, extremely. I, I totally agree with that. However, um, that doesn't negate, um, that th doesn't negate that, like, it's, it, it's just, it's not a good thing, man. I, I don't know how else to put it. Like, it, we're in a really bad situation. We need to start to think about real solutions, not just, oh, well, um, you know, fantasy land, make a company. Okay, bro. Well, you know, when pigs fly, you know, it's like, it, it's like saying, it's like saying to a mechanic, like, dude, you used, you used to work on cars, right? And you're like, yeah, man, but, uh, you know, they no longer need me for X, Y, or Z reason. Well, dude, why don't you, like, make your own, like, Ford or Chrysler or, you know, whatever, dude? Why don't you, why don't you become the next Toyota? Like, dude, just go out and do that. It's like, okay, Jesus fucking Christ. You know, or it's like, all right, well, you worked as a mechanic. Why don't you work as someone who trains mechanics? It's like, maybe, maybe if I can figure out how to make that work. But once again, I mean... This individual who's who's taking this job loss is in a much better economic position uh, to to do things like that and is intellectually. Um, but most of these people who are going to start losing these jobs because of this are not going to be brainiacs. Like it's going to cause fucking problems. And if you believe yourself to be a brainiac and that you do know what's going on and what's up and what's down and how didn't you see the writings in the ball, bro? It's like, well, why don't you think about how to solve the problem rather than how to blame someone else for not solving the fucking problem? Why don't you do that? It, it's not fair. So why would they keep doing that? And so what you have to do is you have to find, like, basically, I always view responsibility as power. So if you are responsible for a lot of things, you're less likely to be removed because it would be harder to solve the problem without you. Basically, position yourself as a problem solver and solve problems that makes management's life easier. That's all people want. Just figure out what their problem is and figure out a way to solve it. To be honest, they probably only keep doing your job is highly skilled, you can't be replaced. Yeah, exactly. But this is, again, like, I, I'm, you know, I'm not, I haven't been looking for a job, like, for a long time. So this is just, like, because I'm, I'm always, like, an asshole. I'm a fuck-up, right? I'm an idiot. And so I thought to myself, I'm like, well, I don't want to get fired from this job, right? I'm getting paid a lot of money. This is great. So I want to work as hard as I can so they, so they will never fire me. So, like, that's why I did it this way. I think you what have to I'll become irreplaceable. Maybe yeah. Take, uh, and like you can see that in like software development companies, and you see all of these like young, like you know, twenty-eight year olds, 
and they're like, you know, really, they're dressed in a suit and everything's totally fine. And then there's one guy that's like in the back and he's wearing cargo shorts with a Hawaiian shirt. And like, he's got a gray beard. He's 36. And uh, he's getting paid probably more than half of them put together. And most of the time, that guy back there is not there because he's just the wizard, the genius, the amazing Super Saiyan. Most of the time, it's because, well, he has seniority, for one. Two, he knows a lot of people high up in the company because of his seniority. And he he's able to kick back and relax. I can't tell you how many times... Um, just interpersonal relations with the management has gotten people who should have been fired a long, long, long time ago. They're just chilling. Like, there, there's a guy, he shows up late, he's stoned, he smells like liquor and cigarettes. He, you know, liquor, pot, and cigarettes, and he goes ahead, he sits down in his chair... He fucks around, does about 15 minutes of work for the first four hours of his day, goes out to lunch, takes a two and a half hour long lunch when he normally only takes a two hour lunch. And, you know, the management comes up to him and goes, hey, man, where were you? And he's like, oh, sorry, dude. I just went to a really far away place. And, All right. Well, just try not to do that so much because we really need you, man. All right. And like, you know, little soft punch on the shoulder and then like the guy's like all right cool whatever and goes back to doing his thing it's like this happens all the time and then you have this guy who he just started working there he's a really good worker he shows up 30 minutes to an 30 minutes to an hour early every single day he's willing to stay late but because he just got there um you know and he fucks up once and he he like never fucks up and he fucks up once the, the boss is going to reprimand him like, listen, man, you've got to start getting it together, okay? Because you really fucked us on this deal here. Where the same situation can happen, and if they just like the guy more, they have more seniority, they have more, you know, uh, connection, they've worked with the guy for, you know, years and years, whatever, what, what have you. You know, they're related, they're, you know, he's dating the guy's sister, something weird, right? All of a sudden, he goes, you know, just try your best, man. Uh, you know, and get get Jerry to do it. You know, you don't even you don't have to do it. Just make sure that the just make sure it gets done. I don't care. I don't care how you get it done. Just make sure it gets done. You know, it it's yeah, it's oh man. Anyways, you want to be that guy? Yeah. You want to be the wizard. I take uh, a week or two to myself, and then after that, I'm going to be heavily looking mm -hmm. for another position Probably works and the see least. how it yep. goes. Um, so maybe over the next like, so two valuable, weeks, we'll what they do, they can't replace them. That's right. But you know, he's the, the only one who knows how to use the old system. Something that actually brings in money is very unlikely. I do make a bit of revenue from YouTube, but it's it's mm -hmm. nothing really. Somewhere in the region of twenty yeah. to forty pounds a month. Uh, which is absolutely you know, not enough to even pay my food, never mind to pay my mortgage. My YouTube channel is nowhere big enough. Um, it's just, you know, the money that I get from YouTube is enough to buy myself like a nice pair of shoes at the end of the month. Or, I don't know, it, it pays for something like mm -hmm. a bit of food or maybe if I, something needs repairing or I want a new game, you know. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's, uh, it's rough. YouTube is the same with a lot of things. It's like it's another entertainment industry income thing where like people in the entertainment industry, most people don't make any money and then some people make all the money. So hopefully May and, and June, um, you know, prove to be mm -hmm. more positive. We'll see. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video and uh, goodbye. If you're a graphic designer watching this as well, Man, I highly, oh. highly recommend uh, learning some new skills while you can. Yeah, true. <laughs> and don't don't ever template things. Don't provide the company you work for the templates. There it is, right? Again, you have to always be your own biggest advocate. You are always on your side.
always advocating for yourself, always doing what's best for you, every single time, all the time. The moment that you start helping somebody else out too much, well, then that's what could happen. He's young now. Yeah, I know. Trade skills are always useful. Yeah, um, there's a, I mean, like, you know, you want to talk about getting another job in another sector, like, then he could do anything, right? But, like, I'm just saying that if he wants to work in, in this type of, of work, I feel like that's what's, like, th th that's, like, and, and also, like, if you work probably at a smaller company, I can only talk from, like, my own personal experience, but, like, I place a tremendous amount of value in a person who can create new ways to solve problems. Like, for example, like, oh, hey, you know, like, this is this new tool. Like, I think we can use this to make more money, right, or, or whatever. People that, that solve, and, and again, it goes back to most, what do people give you money for? If you distill it down, they give you money for solving a problem. Whether that problem is, uh, you know, they want to watch porn, then you solve that problem. If that problem is they want it, they're bored. Well, then you solve that problem. You have a TV show. You have a video game. If you, your problem is uh, they have a headache, you have a headache. Well, then you solve that problem. Give them Advil. So figure out a problem that people have and then solve the problem. That's it. So you can do that. And I think that also like doing that in a micro scale at a company is, uh, is, a, is a smart thing to do. Yeah, give solutions to problems. Yes, solve problems. See a need, fill the need. Exactly. Uh, claim your work takes longer than it does so that you can have time to yourself to, to yeah. look into other jobs maybe do whatever yeah, you can yeah I'm seeing a lot of advice like this Yeah, to like lie about how much work you're doing always do this, always lie to the company always misrepresent things that are beneficial to yourself that can't be verified because if you don't do that then they could use that against you you are always your own biggest advocate fuck everybody else, do what's good for you and rinse the company you That's work right. for. <laughs> because, you know, at the end of the day, companies don't owe you anything. They're not mm -hmm. obligated to That's keep right. you. If they find they a way a to get rid of you and replace you with AI, they will do. Don't ever feel obligated to provide a company what it needs. Give them the bare minimum and, you know, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Focus on yourself. Um, yeah. Right. Goodbye and thanks for watching this video. Jeez, this sucks, man. I feel really bad for the guy. Somebody says, um, uh, I think in general there should be benefits for the workers rather than a company whenever there's an advancement in technology or automation. I think that's true, but it shouldn't come from the company because if it comes from the company, then you're effectively punishing the company for innovation. So I agree with you in essence, and I think that's what should happen, but I don't think that the company should do that. That should be something that's done by the government. A company... A company's responsibility is to provide a product or a service and to make money. A government's responsibility, in my opinion, is to protect and serve the people. And I think that this is the government's responsibility, not the, the company's. That, that's, that's my opinion. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I think this is going to become more and more common. And obviously, graphic designers are going to be pretty much first up on the chopping block. But uh, you're going to see a lot more of this stuff happening. It's going to be very, very, very common. Now, what about international companies? Well, I, yeah, and there's a million other questions about that, but I, that's just, that's generally what my perspective is, right? He'll make it, I have faith in the guy, sounds like he wants to succeed. Yeah, and, and like, also, he probably made this video where it's like, this just happened this week, and like, obviously, like, how many of you guys have had, like, a really negative, like, bad reaction to something really early on, and then, like, you take a step back, you gather your thoughts, and you're like, okay, this is how I want to move forward. This is what I want to do. He was still emotional? Yeah, exactly. And so that's what I think is going to happen uh, much more much more for him. But I might video for follow up. No, I might watch that at some point, maybe tomorrow or something, but I figured I'd just watch this one now. My brother got seven years of graphical design, did four months of AI prompting for a similar reason. He's sick of clients seeking him. He's just t telling about AI and needs to work properly. Well, again, people are not paying you. And this is like another thing with like... Uh, this, this goes into, like, artists that overvalue what they do. People don't care how hard you worked on something. People want this tool. They're looking for a jigsaw puzzle piece that fits into their puzzle. They don't care how you made it. They don't care, like, so 
if you can use AI to solve their problem, then to them, it's just as good. Now, people might perceive value that takes longer, but they will never act on that. There will only be the perception. How do you feel about small local mom and pop store, uh, stores that uh, who need their employees to be engaged when offering sharing and profits and internal growth depending on those profits? I think it really just depends on what happens. I don't think that there's really a decision that you can make in one direction or another. I think the truth is that like for anything like this, you uh, you really just have to base it off of what's happening at that time. Like I, I don't know. I think it's each company is going to be different. He already made a second video on what he plans to do next. Well, good for him. How does this apply to streaming? How does this apply to streaming? I think that there's a lot of streamers who get really attached to one game and then that one game falls off and they don't know what to do. Like, have you guys ever seen like a streamer that's like really popular for like a singular game and then like they try to branch off of that game and they can't do it because nobody likes watching them? And it's like, you see this all the time. Like with WoW, you see it with Diablo, you see it with League of Legends, you see it with tons of people, right? And uh, you? Yeah, no, not really me. I mean, that may be me back in the day, but not, not anymore. And so most of those people have boring personalities, though. Exactly. So they're boring, and they don't know why people watch them. So, like, people think that, oh, people watch me because they think I'm funny. No, they don't. They watch you because you're good at the game, and they like you being connected to this game, and you have to change people's perception of you. Yeah, WoW streamers. WoW streamers are, are the worst ones, right? Because, like, most WoW streamers are, like, painfully boring. It should be, like, illegal to be that boring. Do you think video editing will be taken by AI one day? I think that a lot of it will be. I think that AI, like, this is really what my opinion on AI is with almost everything. I think that AI will make it to where you can do, like, one person can do the work of two or three or four or five people, depending on what the job is. I don't think that AI will completely replace jobs, but they will automate a lot of the busy work and a lot of the non-creative This is wrong. There are jobs that are going to be completely replaced. Okay. Um, for example, um, uh, just one right off the top of my head that he actually even brought up in the video was people who work um, retail for like you know, grocery store and they, they do checkout, right? That That's one right there. Okay. Now you may say, well, there's a few people who are performing the jobs of many others. It's no, they're not. Okay. There's a few people who still work that because they have, you know, some people have a lot of, you know, items and they don't want to go through self checkout and stack, you know, all their items on that little, like, you know, weighing thing. Uh, to make sure that they're not stealing. So some people will still go through the checkout lines, but that's about the only reason. And if they went ahead and they remodeled the store and made it so that there was a larger area for self-checkout and more self-checkout lines, um, we could see a point where there's no longer people who do that. You know, um, like they're like, <clears throat> I I'm telling you right now, there are jobs that are going to be 100% taken away. Now, of the extreme top, no. Most jobs, like Asman said, are going to be, um, basically, you're going to have one guy who does, you know, three, four, five different jobs. Of course. Asman's right on that. Um, but the mass majority of people aren't doing those higher level jobs. The mass majority of people are doing the lower level jobs, which can be replaced really easily. I mean, if you had a way, assuming for battery and for, you know, the overall function of the robot, uh, you know, itself, you're no longer going to have people getting carts at grocery stores. You're going to have Atlas 30 doing it or whatever it's going to be, you know, um, you and and once again, when people say there's no way we'll never get to that point, it's like, yeah. We also never thought we would fly. We also never thought that we'd, you know, land on the moon. We also never thought that we'd have, you know, wireless internet. We also never thought that, you know, there's so many different things. Okay. We didn't think we'd be able to have a fucking computer with an artificial intelligence in our pocket. But check out your phone. That's what the fuck that is. Okay. That's a camera, a computer, 
uh, a way to speak to the, you know, get on the internet, speak to an artificial intelligence. If you went back to the 50s and showed someone the type of capabilities that you have with that, they'd be like, holy shit, there's no way. And it's inside this thin little thing. There's no way. There's no way. It's like, Yeah, there is a way. And we figured it out too. It's like, I just, I, I think it's so intellectually inept for people to go, no, that'll never happen. It's like, I don't know, bro. Unless you see it slowing down, I don't think it's smart to say that at all, okay? Because what we're seeing is it's speeding up, and it is taking more and more jobs. It, it's something we need to start taking seriously. And it's not that we can't have AI. I think AI could be uh, a bring in a utopian existence for mankind. I really do. I think it really, really could be heaven on earth. However... We have to make sure that we set it up in the right way and within the time frame that it's advancing. Because people are going to take advantage where they can take advantage, just like these companies. They're not going to uh, do things less efficiently and cost more money for shits and giggles, They're, you know, or to get brownie points or something. They're just not going to do it. What they're going to do is they're going to replace people people are going to lose their jobs and it's going to have a negative fallout the government needs to do something about this and they need to do something like it now decision making and the actual implementation and like work that needs to be done that's what's really going to happen and so like you're not going to have like with this guy is different like every graphic designer got fired and he was the last one. That's that's different. Usually it doesn't happen that way. But basically what will usually happen, I think, is that you had two people working on a job. There's an advancement in technology. Now one person gets fired and the remaining person doesn't get paid more, by the way. Uh, and now they just do both jobs. Do you see kind of how that's happening? Yeah, augmentation, that's what it'll do. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, Text-to-video generation is already insane. Once it finishes being red teamed, we'll see massive changes. Yeah, absolutely. AI can't replace my editing tokenism I'm safe. We'll see what happens. And uh, human touch is always needed. No, it's not. A lot of people that say the human touch is always needed, I bet if you showed them something that was AI generated, but they didn't know it, they'd think it was beautiful. Yeah, th this is 100% this is true. I, uh, my brother, he, he really wants to do, um, you know, he wants to be a rock star and bring back, you know, hair bands from the eighties and do that kind of stuff, which is cute and all, but it's extremely unrealistic. It's extremely unrealistic. Like if I, if I was someone going to think about any, doing anything in the future, I would not go into music. I would not go into movies. I would not want to be at the bottom level. The three spaces I would definitely not want to be. Because music, dude, I don't even have to show you that. The, the AI is way better. Way better than it used to be. Way better. And it's only going to get better. This is the worst it will ever be. You know, that's it. So... You know, and it's showing no sign of slowing down. So when people, are, uh, you need that like human touch. These are the same types of people who are like, no, nah, dude, I don't like rock with like, like digital downloading, like media and stuff. Like I rock vinyls. Okay. Come on, bro. Like, okay. Yeah. You and like the five other hippies who are hanging out at the beach. Sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what the mass majority of people are going to do. It's they're most people don't give a shit whether their content was made by a male, a female in between uh, this race, that race, a human, a robot. They don't care. They just want it to work. If you found out your car was completely made by robots, you wouldn't be like, ew, Gross. Like you wouldn't do that. Most people would be like, "Oh, okay. Well, shit, it works really good. I, I guess they have some kick-ass AI over there, or whatever." Like that—that—that 
that's how most people are going to take that. They're not going to go, no, I'm upset. I'm really upset now. Like, no, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. I think that people only perceive that to be true. It's something, it's like a, uh, it's like a quality thing that doesn't really exist. It's not always needed? Yeah, no, it's not. Would you prefer to raid with an AI-only party? Absolutely. People still get uh, handcrafted things just because they seem to add perceived value? Yeah, but what's the market on that? What's the market for, like, handcrafted tools or handcrafted arts and crafts and things like that? Versus, like, the ones that are mass-produced. Like, you're right that handcrafted things and people that are made by individuals are... Oftentimes, like, people hold value in it. But, like... How, like, where is that value? That value is like a 10 to 1, a 100 to 1, depending on what the market is. Like, what are we talking about here? The AI takes aspect to human uh, art and creates it for nothing? Yeah, exactly. Will WoW consider this use of AI tech? I think it absolutely will. And it's only going to become more and more popular. It already is. It Currently in World of Warcraft, you have follower dungeons, which are... AI organized dungeons. They talk to you that you can lead them. They can lead you. You can play any role in the entire group and they will move and, and fit you. Um, currently, right now, it's on a, you know, extremely easy difficulty, in my opinion, personally, um, because, you know, they need to make sure that they can, you know, the artificial intelligence is keeping up with things. And, that, and there's a lot of inputs to World of Warcraft. There's a lot of different heals, different, like, you have to have hots rolling if you're a druid, um, you know, blah, 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 blah. Like, you know, if someone stands in something, you got to be able to heal them. If someone dies, you have to be able to res them. And they're already at the point where they can do that on easy, like a really easy difficulty. I'd say by the time we hit um, the end of the, uh, the World Soul Saga, which is War Within, Midnight and uh, The Last Titan, the next three expansions for World of Warcraft, I would be willing to bet a very, 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 very large amount of money that AI will be at least at the heroic dungeon uh, level, maybe you know, normal, normal mode raid level uh, by that point. If, they, if it continues to advance at the rate that it's going and, you know, the, the stuff that's happening... I, I really do. And, you know, that's just three expansions down the road. Um, where are we going to be, you know, uh, you know, 10 years from now? It's going to be a different world. It's going to be a fucking trip. But yeah, I mean, World of Warcraft already uses it. They, How many human trash? What's this here? I mean, for example, they used it also in Battle for Azeroth with um, the Island Expeditions. Where you could do PVE island expeditions and you'd fight against uh, them and they'd jump and they'd do their attacks and shit like that. Once again, not the best, but it's already there, it's already coming, and it's already growing. Uh, trash websites in your life, AI wants to be way better. Yeah, yeah, there's plenty of bad websites that are made by people too. Yeah, it's important to keep that in mind as well. Would you want handcrafted medicine or some things are better left mass produced? Uh, I don't know, it depends on what the medicine is, right? That's so true for architecture. AI-generated plans are so horrid, but people think it's great because they don't know how to look at it. Yeah, but, like, I bet an AI-generated plan can maybe get you 50% of the way there in some cases. And I bet there will be a time, if it's not the case now, there will be a time in the future where it will get you 50% of the way there. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's the point. Like, the what people refuse to accept, um, maybe it's because they just don't want to see it, you know, kind of like covering your eyes when someone throws a football at you rather than trying to catch it, um, is the fact that this is improving. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. Are you going to be able to say, AI, do the, make the architecture for this new, uh, concept of this building and have it work 100% of the time perfectly? Nah, probably not. Not yet. But, you know, just five years ago, it wasn't even capable of even doing any of it. Now it's able to do 25, 50%, whatever it is, you know? And, and mind you, like, this is regular stuff. I mean, imagine, like, the military grade, like, 
beefy, you know, black budget level artificial intelligence. Like that, we got a whole nother fucking ball game there. So, I mean, selling uh, artificial intelligence short, I think is one of the most intellectually inept things that someone could do in modern day. And that's what's going to happen. That, and, and it's not that AI will completely solve your job, but it will make your, your uh, awareness of the job less important. Medicine's already mass produced. That's what he's saying. He's saying that, like, you know, you don't want to leave it up to human error. Yeah, this is a great video. Obviously, I think this is happening to more and more people. And uh, there's nothing you can really do about it. Companies, when they gener use your work to generate AI. Companies, when you use AI to generate your resume. Oh, there it is. Uh, the fact that it was trained on your material is downright despicable. I don't think it is. Personally, they paid him for that material. Am I the only person who feels that way? They paid him for the work? It's theirs. Yeah, I, I think that's fair. Now, it kind of sucks. Like, it definitely sucks. But, it's fair. It sucks, but it's fair. There you go. Yeah, anyways. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get things working out. Uh, economically before uh people start to revolt because of this these problems I'm calling it now it's not gonna end well i'm calling it now